Hello everyone, my name is Christina Miller and I'm from Cape Town. I have been a Golden Key member since 2012 when I received the invitation to become a member following my MPhil in labor law. My undergrad was an organizational psychology B degree and I'm pursuing further studies next year in the form of a postgraduate qualification in sustainable development at the University of Stellenbosch. My career has not followed any sort of traditional path and I wanted to share my story um, to inspire young graduates to explore their opportunities and see what is actually available out there before settling on what would essentially be considered a traditional role or a traditional career. Throughout my entire tertiary academic career, uh, I worked in the restaurant industry to fund my studies. I didn't qualify for a student loan um, and finances were tight as with most South Africans. Um, and working in the restaurant industry actually helped me once I had graduated to have that room to spend time thinking about what I wanted to do. I could continue working in the restaurant industry and um, supporting myself and some members of my family whilst I could think about what it is I actually wanted to end up doing. And for me, the great takeaway from that was the perspective in terms of understanding what I didn't want to do. I knew that with my organizational psychology undergrad degree, I knew I didn't want to go into the fields of human resources or even go into the CCMA um, type of, of work. And so I thought a little bit about what it is I wanted to do. And I spent some time researching opportunities online. One thing that had really resonated with me in my undergrad was a module on labor law that was incorporated into my organizational psychology undergrad degree. And in the, in the process of completing that, that um, course, I realized I really had a love and a passion for the law. And so what I did in that year following my graduation was elect to take some short courses, um, educating myself in different elements of labor law. And that's ignited a spark or a fire in me to pursue a career around labor law and around um, defending the rights of the worker. I got into an internship with a construction company called WBHO, a very uh, low paid stipend based internship, but that was fine. I could keep working at the restaurant and began my career in essentially construction. Uh, I think much to my friend's surprise when I wore safety boots and a hard hat to work every day. I absolutely loved the work that I did. We focused specifically on health and safety enforcement and management and developing management systems on the construction sites uh, that protected the workers essentially and made sure that everyone went home safely at the end of the day. And this very quickly became my passion. I have realized over the course of my career that improving people's lives and in general improving the world in whatever way I can has been integral to who I am and how I identify. I worked really hard and then decided to pursue uh, an MPhil in labor law through UCT uh, during my uh, first job at WBHO and uh, rose through the ranks and you know hopped companies as, as we do as millennials um, finding uh, you know places that would help me grow and develop in my career and not necessarily places that, you know, um, were places I wanted to stay for, you know, the next 20 to 40 years, um, which is something that our parents tended to do in their careers. And what I realized after finishing my MPhil was that this was really something I was passionate about. Um, my dissertation had been on the work-life balance and I wanted to understand how to help people have a more integrated work-life balance um, within the spectrum of health and safety and workplace labor law. I have predominantly worked in the health and safety space uh, for the last 10 to 15 years, depending how you look at it. And, um, and had held various different roles, whether it be from uh, drafting and creating and implementing management systems through to auditing, through to being a facilitator in training and helping educate others and, and, and be more empowered and skilled in the workplace. Uh, in, in all of it, I have stayed grounded in the law and in health and safety and in improving people's lives. About three years ago, I worked on a big project in Asia, uh, where we, in Bangladesh, where we were tasked with helping to essentially launch a cleanup project 
in the garment sector. For those of you who aren't familiar about, you know, around topics of fast fashion, Bangladesh is one of the central hubs of the garment sector in the world. And there are large abuses of workers um, that are you know, prevalent. Um, exploitation is rife. Um, facilities are substandard at best. Um, and frankly, it is quite dangerous work. There was a spate of fires um, and building collapses um, where thousands and thousands of workers were killed. And we were tasked with going in and essentially launching a cleanup project from educating government officials to drafting legislation to equipping industry and factory owners in how to improve their workforce on, in an effective, econ economically effective and safe way. And that for me triggered the love of sustainable development because the main issues were not only around the factory and the workers' lives, it was around the fact that people were living close to the factories. There was toxic, you know, effluent coming, water that couldn't be drunk, um, and there was malnutrition in the villages that surrounded and supported the garment sector. And so for me, the, the solution wasn't just fixing the workplace, it was around fixing the entire the, the urban landscape, essentially. Um, we presented our findings at the Harvard Urban Health Symposium, Symposium um, in 2017. Um, and for me then, I was absolutely sold that the way that I would actually make an impact on the world was through not only health and safety and improving people's lives and workers' lives, it was around sustainable development. I have worked in various companies, whether it be from construction through to marine, organizations through to mining organizations and I'm currently employed at Anglo-American. My title is Principal of SNSD Management Systems and Assurance, SNSD standing for Safety and Sustainable Development. So I really have found my absolute perfect profession because it harnesses the power of being able to protect workers through safety and being able to enhance and improve the way that we work to protect the environment through sustainable development. My day-to-day -day role is around designing and creating management systems um, that improve the way we work and hopefully efficiently make work easier for people at the coal face. And more importantly, have a bigger, broader vo vision in terms of making the world a better place to be in general from a biodiversity or environmental impact perspective. I do a lot of reporting and I co collaborate with all of our subject matter experts and our discipline leads to make sure that we are aligned and um, reporting on our various targets in the business. In all of that time, I've also found a passion in empowering female youth in our country, something that I think is very front of mind given current challenges with gender-based violence and discrimination and sexism. I'm a feminist at heart, and in 2014, I launched and founded a charity called Great Girls. We work to empower grade 11 and 12 girls to essentially bridge the gap between school and either employment or tertiary education. And we do have a website, so I'd invite you to go and visit it. It's www.greatgirls.co.za. And we work hard making sure that girls in disadvantaged areas that we work in um, have opportunities available to them that they either don't know about, wouldn't ever have come across or didn't have the network to access. And for us, it's very important and it's passion close to my heart to make sure that all young women in this country are not only shown that they are capable and powerful beyond measure, but they are given the opportunity to achieve their outcomes regardless of where they have come from. For me, I love Golden Key as a society because it keeps me informed, it keeps me engaged, and there is a large network to keep in touch with. And for anyone thinking about what to do with their degree, I would say one piece of advice. Try and find something that buys you time to think about what it is you really want. And I'm not gonna give you that spiel about find something you love and all the rest of your days you won't work because it's something that you love. Yes, that is obviously the, the end goal, but the reality is find what it is that you're good at and that you enjoy. And the only way that you're going to be able to do that is to buy some time for yourself once you've graduated. So even if it's waitressing or doing some sales repping or being an Uber driver, the reality is if you can buy yourself some time and some space to think about what it is you really wanna do with your degree, 
then you will be able to enter into a field and have expectations and, and hopefully make some demands, uh, given that we, that's not always possible for the worker, um, around what it is that you are capable of and you would like to be using your time and energy working on. That is my ultimate advice. I hope it serves you well and good luck with all of your careers in the future. If anyone would like to reach out about any of the things I've spoken about, either philanthropy work or my career and how I got to where I am today, I'm happy to field any questions. I'll pop my email in the link below the video. Thank you. Bye.